Hi, Nick here. And today I wanted to talk a little bit about the material that they use for saddles and nuts on Taylor guitars. Lately I've had, for some reason, several people ask me about a bone nut and saddle on different guitars and sometimes with a Taylor. And I think this is one of those things that a lot of people like because it's an easy upgrade and you know they read about it on a forum or something and think, wow, bone, it's great. And you know, in some cases it is, in some cases it's not. Um, bone, I think, tends to give you uh, a brighter sound and it takes, uh, it gives you more of the fundamental for the note. So for a guitar like a Martin, that's not really bright, it's got a lot of sort of fuzz around the note, um, you know, the bone brings the fundamental out a little bit more, gives it a little bit more brightness, kind of overall balances out uh, a little bit better to a lot of people's ears. So Taylor guitars, on the other hand, are already known for being bright and having a strong fundamental. And if you wanted to take one of these, which usually they come with uh, Tusk or Micarta uh, nuts and saddles, add a bone, you're going to have it be even brighter and even a stronger fundamental. And to me, that might be a little bit too much. Um, for some people, for like recording applications, they want the brightest thing possible. Yeah, a Taylor guitar with a bone nut is probably about as bright as you can get. Um, but if you want a nice kind of mellow sound, you want a good balance, you don't want too much on the high end, uh, it's probably better to stick with Tusk or Micarta, uh, which is what they use at the Taylor factory. In fact, Taylor is going to stop offering bone nuts and saddles as an option. Um, I think for a couple reasons. One, like I just mentioned, their guitars are already kind of on the brighter end of the spectrum. They don't really need a bone nut or saddle. And number two, um, I think there's a lot of people who feel that those don't work as well with under saddle pickups. Taylor said with their new ES2 uh, pickup system that the bone doesn't work as well as like Micarta or Tusk. And also there are issues of consistency uh, for a company that makes tons and tons of guitars every year, like Taylor, something like Tusk or Micarta, it's going to be a lot more consistent, more easily attainable, and probably easier to work with on a mass scale like that. Uh, just because it's you know convenient for those reasons doesn't make it bad. I've recently had to replace the nut and saddle on these. Uh, I had Tusk on it before, and I used Tusk again. It's a good material. It does what I need it to. Um, it does kind of lose its sweetness and wear out after, I don't know, about five or six years, uh, after which time you can just, you know, for a couple hundred bucks, have it redone, get it set up, and it'll be as good as new. So if you have like a Taylor guitar and it's sounding a little bit dead, um, you know, you've had it for four or five years or eight years or whatever, uh, you can try a new nut and saddle. You don't necessarily have to go bone just another tusk or a tusk and micarta combination of some sort would work for you. I think it'll be a bit livelier and brighter just from a new tusk nut and saddle or tusk and micarta or whatever. I don't think you have to go to bone. Um, you can try different strings. Sometimes that makes a big difference before you even try to switch out with uh, new nut and saddle or even think about trying different materials. Um, you know, experiment with phosphor bronze, just straight 80-20 bronze strings. Uh, they're, you know, different makers have different sounds to their strings and that's a really inexpensive way to uh, get a different sound from your guitar. Uh, so if you're thinking about, you know, how do I get a different sound from my existing guitar, instead of trying a bone nut and saddle and thinking that that will cure everything. You might try different strings and then maybe just a new tusk nut and saddle would do the trick for you. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video about nuts and saddles on Taylor guitars. Uh, tusk, micarta tend to work pretty well. Bone might be a little bit too much. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you next time.